judicial proceedings taking place right here in Delhi. The Delhi High Court on Monday issued summons to the BBC, that is of course the British Broadcasting Corporation. This is based on a defamation suit moved by a Gujarat-based NGO claiming that a two-part documentary by the UK broadcaster cast a quote slur on the reputation of India. Context here, remember this is the documentary India, the Modi question. Now, what the suit claims is it claims that the documentary cast a quote, I'm using the language from the suit, a slur on India's reputation as well as that of its judiciary and the Prime Minister. Now, this suit has been filed by a Gujarat-based non-profit organization called Justice on Trial and senior advocate Harish Salve is actually going to be appearing for the organization. These are the details we have on this so far. We'll be bringing you more details in just a second on all of these proceedings. These are developments that are taking place as we speak. This is, of course, the uh, Gujarat riots documentary that also showed in quite a bit of detail uh, the way in which the Gujarat government at that time, underneath the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, handled the Gujarat riots. You remember that the central government had, at, in many points, banned and blocked access to the links of the documentary. Now you can see the Delhi High Court issuing this set of summons. Uh, let's go over to my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar for more context. Ananya, break down for us in layman's language the Delhi High Court issuing the summons to the BBC. Effectively, what does this mean for the BBC? Well, uh, definitely it will have to come before the court and now respond. The, the British Broadcasting Com Corporation or the BBC will now have to come and respond before the Delhi High Court. Now remember that uh, a re in, in Rohini Court as well, there is a defamation case that has been filed uh, uh, against the, uh, the, uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation alleging that, you know, this has uh, uh, tarnished the image of the Prime Minister and also of the country uh, worldwide. And now a similar case coming before... In fact, the Supreme Court of India, senior advocate, uh, before the Delhi High Court, I'm sorry, and a senior advocate, Harish Salve, appeared for uh, this NGO petitioner who had knocked the doors of the Supreme Court, alleging that, you know, uh, this two-part documentary is casting aspersion on the judiciary of the country because remember that uh, it was the Supreme Court that had given uh, a clean shit and remember, not uh, one time but twice, uh, the Supreme Court also recently delivered, uh, three judges went had delivered a uh, judgment last year with regards to this whole fiasco over the uh, and in fact had said that there was a clean shit that was given to the Gujarat government and they were uh, pre-planned riots that were that had happened in 2002 and uh, there was no role of uh, in fact the then uh, uh, chief minister and the home minister that is uh, Prime Minister and Amit Shah, uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was then the Chief Minister, and Amit Shah, who was then uh, the Home Minister for Gujarat, the state of Gujarat. And it was said that there was no kind of a role of a, 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 a malafide that was on the part of the Gujarat government. And it was the Gujarat government, in fact, controlled that particular situation. However, certain people like Tista Sitilwad were uh, the people who had actually pro propagated a propaganda in, in this particular regard and were tarnishing the image of the Gujarat government. And it was all a pre planned uh, conspiracy but at the same point of time now the BBC will have to come and respond before the Delhi High Court. Now what would the BBC be saying is something that is a matter of fact and we'll get to know when the BBC actually files its supply before the Delhi High Court. Uh, Ananya, before we carry on, can you also tell us about the kind of action uh, the BBC has seen from central agencies in the last few days? Well, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, there were, uh, uh, in fact, searches that were conducted on uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, the, their accounts are being uh, uh, seen by the central agencies, including the Income Tax Department. And, in fact, a survey was also carried out by the IT Department on, uh, in fact, the BBC. We were also hearing that, uh, in fact, the Enforcement Director too could jump into this particular matter. However, uh, there is no, uh, no particular confirmation on that, and that's the reason why, in fact, uh, uh, you know, We'll have to wait for the central agencies to also act upon it. Uh, and But uh, IT surveys were actually carried out on uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation. But what happens next is something that only can, time can tell. Okay, just explain to us, uh, Ananya, the British Broadcasting Corporation is obviously a British organization. Just explain to our audiences the legal domain India has over the BBC as it functions in India. What is the action uh, the country can take, what is the action the judiciary can take? Just explain to us that ambit, please. Well, you know, uh, this, uh, BBC is an uh, uh, organization based in uh, the, uh, the United Kingdoms and, uh, in fact, is, oper is having operations in the country. But uh, definitely, it will have to, since it's uh, already doing a business in the country, they will have to comply with the Indian laws, just like the social media intermediaries like 
Twitter and others, and it will have to comply with the Indian law. The Indian laws are very, very strict with regards to uh, uh, people doing business in India, and that's the reason why all the legal proceedings can be initiated against the BBC. Okay, all right. Ananya, thank you for bringing us that context. That's our legal correspondent, Ananya Bhatnagar. Let's move on.